Good morning, everybody. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the love that you guys gave Carol in the comment section of yesterday's video that we launched on KBD Productions TV. Uh, it was a lot of fun to go shopping with Carol and hang out with her for the day and have some food and go RV shopping, which it was on yesterday's vlog, which I'm editing right now. So you'll be watching this tomorrow. That's kind of weird. Okay. So by the time you watch this, you'll have watched probably the other vlog and it's the vlog where we go RV shopping. So we have a lot of decisions, big decisions to make, but uh, the, hanging out with Carol on that was amazing. And this is what I've been trying to do for years. Carol just wasn't really into it at the time, but uh, it's taken her this long to build up the confidence uh, to be a part of KBD Productions TV and this channel. You've seen her on this channel multiple times. I've, I've always talked her into it. And uh, she sees the value in it. She sees the fun in it. And uh, the fact that we'll be we'll be able to be together on all these trips is is the the hook i guess is the most important thing uh because when i was in japan it was lonely you know when i was with the people that i knew there i was fine when i'm in hiroshima by myself osaka uh it was in kofu i had to like video chat with my wife in canada while i'm in japan enjoying these beautiful sights and it would have, would have been amazing if she was right beside me. Uh, so that that's the whole gist of what's going on in our lives. You know, I, I want to do, I want to make content for you guys. I want to see the world, and but I want to do it with my wife. I don't want to do it by myself. Um, the cats will be lonely. <laughs> We've got family and friends that will take care of our cats. Uh, that's why we're not going to be getting a dog probably anytime soon because it just creates... Um, What's it called? It just creates problems and uh, logistic, logistical problems with uh, dog care and all that stuff. So that's going to be on hold for a little bit. But uh, yeah, a lot of really cool things are happening. I got a really nice email this morning. I'll let you guys know. A little cliffhanger for you. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm not sure how many days it will take for me to be able to tell you. So something very cool there. I talked to my graphic designer who's helping me with creating merch, stickers, new banner. Uh, Carol and I are probably gonna change the KBD Productions TV avatar uh, to a picture of Carol and I. Um, so KBD Productions TV is gonna be the umbrella to stealth camping, to Ken and Carol travels, uh, to Ken and Ben videos, to cook and reviews. So there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff underneath the umbrella of KBD Productions TV. Uh, and I look forward to doing all that kind of stuff for you. Uh, I just had a phone call with my doctor and uh, everything's good there. Uh, I also, uh, so I talked to my graphic designer between 10 and 11. I thought it was nine, so I got up early this morning, had my coffee, and I looked at my calendar and I'm like, oh, it was 10 o'clock. I could have slept in a little bit longer. I stayed up to two o'clock last night, bad idea. Uh, I did a big bike ride yesterday, 35 kilometers, averaged 22.9, almost 23 kilometers an hour. I like to get my cycling up to about 25 to 26 kilometers per hour, averaging on like a 40k bike ride that's where i would like to be and i can do it uh i'm down to 211 pounds i'm gonna give you all this information it's coming at you i'm down to 211 pounds from 217 awesome i need to be under 200 pounds by i wanted to be under 200 pounds by my birthday it's possible uh, i just gotta control what i eat and uh continue doing my cycling and everything will be golden uh what else did i do oh right now i'm on my way to the dentist to do a full clean and uh, then we'll go back home finish the vlog I almost finished the vlog but uh, then I have my call with uh, my graphic designer and uh, working on some stuff there hope you guys you guys will be really excited and uh, so again we're creating stickers new merch so if you guys want to support uh, the KBD Productions TV umbrella uh, then uh, 
check out our merch when that goes live I bet you guys will be uh, out there uh, you guys will be definitely told when it all happens so uh, again love all your support on all the different things we do to uh, help us do the things we need to do to create content for you all right so let's get this uh, dentist thing out of the way and then we'll go back home give the kitties some love and finish the vlog so you guys have something to watch today well yesterday i know it's kind of weird Made it to the dentist, but I'm like 22 minutes early. So uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, the YouTube and uh, YouTube studio always compares your latest upload video to the last nine videos. So it shows all 10 videos, uh, the last 10 videos, plus the one you just put up or uh, including the one you just put up. Uh, and then it compares it minute by minute uh, to all the other ones. So. At this 19 hour and 19 minute mark, uh, at the video that Carol and I did got 21,900 views, which is awesome. I always have discovered that getting 24,000 uh, views plus on a video in the first 24 hours is a successful video. And then everything after that is just awesome. Uh, the one that's beating it right now was the uh, 24 hour eating at churches chicken. It's hard to beat those 24 hour videos. Uh, so hopefully in the f near future, Carol and I will get more and more new subscribers plus you guys helping out. And those videos will always be my number one video when I launch it. Uh, but to come show you a little bit more. So the, the living at church's chicken got 10,000 views more. So at this moment, at the 19 minute and nine, 19 hour and 19 minute mark, it got 31,500. And the worst one uh, was the ice fishing walleye. Uh, it only had 10,800. So although I liked doing that video, one of the things I learned from Mr. Beast is you basically look at that and you kind of almost like take the last five videos and don't try to do those videos again. Always look at your top five videos and try to always replicate anything that hits number one saying well that's the kind of video people want to watch because that's where all the views are people who weren't really interested in the ice fishing video they weren't interested in lenny's uh, lobster shack bar does that mean i'm going to stop doing them no i'm just going to have to like figure a way to make it even more interesting uh whether it's the thumbnail the title that's basically you have to work on that kind of stuff and then over time you you start to kind of fine line your your channel other than that, I wanted to just go through the last uh, few days. Uh, so I guess the last video we kind of made was, um, well, the video that you'll see today, you'll be seeing this tomorrow. Anyway, uh, it was Paul and I at the hockey game. Uh, and then I went for a bike ride at like a 30K average 22.9 kilometers per hour, which is awesome. I would like to see that number increase to about 26 kilometers an hour to 28 kilometers an hour per hour uh, for like like an hour and a half to two hours. That's where I would like to be. Uh, and then uh, I bought, and then I went yesterday, got 34, sorry, 35 kilometers and I averaged same, same 22.9. Uh, tomorrow is going to be like seven degrees. Today, seven degrees. But I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and I'll take you guys along. I'll bring the, the um, probably the 360 camera plus the GoPro and we'll videotape some of our bike ride. And I'll show you some of the clothing that I wear uh, when it's this cold. Uh, one of the things I bought back in January is this really nice um, red jacket. I got it from Europe. Uh, I can't remember the name of the website, the, but my buddy Steve, he buys some of his gear from that company and uh, I got it in January, but I didn't think it was warm enough to wear when I first bought it. So uh, yesterday was the first day that I bought it, or sorry, I wore it, and it totally kept me really nice and warm. I uh, kept the wind from go going through, uh, and the only thing that was cold yesterday was my toes, because uh, when I have like summer, summer, cycling shoes but they're the only cycling shoe i have so the only way I, and i felt like seven 
degrees or yesterday was six degrees. No, it was seven degrees yesterday too. I thought it was just warm enough that my body would generate enough heat and keep my whole body warm. But uh, the wind goes right through those um, uh, cycling shoes. So uh, I had to, uh, n tomorrow when I go for a ride, I have these special booties that basically block the wind from ripping through your your feet, uh, your shoes, making your feet cold. Anyway, I'm gonna sit back, relax for a couple minutes, and uh, then we'll go in and get our teeth cleaned. I almost forgot to tell you guys, today is March 21st, and today is the day they've dropped the mandate of the mask. Uh, if I go to the dentist, or the doctors, or the hospital, or a retirement home to go visit Carol's dad, uh, or if I go into any uh, store or restaurant whatever and they ask you to still wear a mask I'll, I still have my mask I'll still bring it around I just can't wait for the day where the mask is now abolished COVID is no more uh, or like so low that it, it's it, no more masks that's what I'm just hoping 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 uh, that continues to happen uh, 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 April 1st I uh, won't need testing going back and forth to the United States so Paul and I are planning a special trip and I can't wait for you to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys hang out for that. Now I'm gonna sit back and relax and wait for my dentist appointment. We're just finished up with the last patient. We're just cleaning up the room and making okay. sure it's all clean and sanitized for you, okay? Perfect. Won't be very long. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like when it's close to noon. Doesn't ma doesn't matter what day. Okay, just uh, like early morning, like late morning, early afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Let me see what we've got. Who's fortieth? Right. Happy birthday. Forty is great. Fifty-five isn't so great. Thanks. No problem. All right. See ya. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Okay, all clean, and it was Dr. Z's birthday today, 40 years old, happy birthday. He's the gentleman who gave me this amazing smile and, and uh, made sure that crown replaced the veneer with zero complications, and he did. So happy birthday, Dr. Z. Uh, so I always ask for, well, they always give you like a little uh, care package. So they give you a toothbrush, toothpaste. I asked for, for two toothpaste because these things are amazing for my travel bag. And so she said, no problem. And she actually gave me two toothbrushes. So I'll put one in my travel bag, one uh, at home. And then I've got two of these for my travel case as well. She offered, uh, she's my favorite hygienist, hygienist. Uh, she is extremely gentle. Never ever, when she's doing the floss, never right up into your gum, because I hate that. Because you're just like, you actually are tense on lying on the chair. And tell me if you experience the same thing. You're just like tense on the chair, because you're waiting for that floss to go through and right into your gum and every single tooth. Yeah. Uh, so she's awesome. So I, whenever I schedule, I always get the exact same dental hygienist. Anyway. And she also loves Cuba. So I told her about my Cuba vlogs and she's gonna go check them out tonight. Um, oh, and she offered me floss and then the, there's like a f floss threader. You put the floss through, like it's like a plastic needle and then you can get it between those teeth under the wire because right behind all these teeth is a wire and then it's kind of cemented in place to stop these teeth from ever moving again and uh, you can't get floss down in it and you can't th thread it through. So you have these little special plastic thing, but I never do it there. So I use like a pick 
to get those uh, chia seeds out of my teeth because the chia seeds are the worst when I'm eating my healthy salads. All right, guys, let's go home, finish that vlog, and uh, I'll probably do a big walk today to get my exercise in, number one. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do a bike ride today, although it would be kind of nice, but I, I don't want to kill my legs. So tomorrow, biking, today, walking. And then I'll do another one with Carol when she gets home because she went shopping to get some more salad, some more, I, th I think it's, I think they're called cremini or panini. No, I think it's cremini mushrooms. They're the brown mushrooms. I used to love the white button mushrooms, but now ever since I did that steak, uh, I did that big porterhouse steak at home and uh, I followed Sam, the cooking guy's recipe it's a reverse sear anyway and he said use the cremini mushrooms and and i think it was a visual thing i didn't want to eat a brown mushroom like that so i like the, the white button ones but after tasting how amazing those mushrooms taste that's it i don't want the white button mushrooms anymore anyway let's go home finish that vlog